the formidable robot. So you know that Bonzi Buddy spyware, right? The one that was immortalized as a meme by Vine Sauce and the legendary Expandon? Yeah, I did expect him to return as a virus in some way, just not like this. I guess I've not really heard of these kinds of viruses before. Viruses with genuine intent. Decides just to ruin your computer. An actual message to send. Not like a you got scammed law message, more like a message with pure hatred put into it. It all started on 4chan. I was scrolling through the website as usual, until I found a certain post just titled, From Adam. The title had, for some reason, intrigued me. I guess I thought it was an ARG of some kind. Imagine the surprise on my face when I saw the attachment to the post. Bonzi.zip. The post itself claimed that it was some sort of remake of the original Bonzi Buddy program without any spyware in it. I always wanted to experience Bonzi Buddy for myself, but I couldn't because, well, you wouldn't want to be spied on by a purple monkey on your computer, right? So in my happiness, thinking I'd finally get a chance, I downloaded the file without even looking at the replies. Although before opening the program, I do remember seeing one reply. Is this some kind of sick joke? Why would you make this? Opening the program closed my browser, so I couldn't confirm whether or not that was what I saw. But it was likely something close to that. Opening the program had showed Bonzi himself swinging into view. The sprite was not transparent, and had a blue box on it. Looking closely at the files, it was clear that this was most likely something made in Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper, or Match for short. Bonzi bowed and began to speak. Hello there, my name is Bonzi. It's nice to meet you, he said. At this point, he just began swinging around on my desktop and doing things. Like opening tabs on my browser that were mostly just memes or old YouTube poops, telling me fun facts, and even saying encouraging things. However after a minute of this, things began to get. I'm not sure weird is the right word for this. Messed up, maybe. No, this was beyond messed up. Soon, Bonzi began to tell me disturbing things, like Have you ever wondered what the afterlife is like? Or Imagine suffering four years because of one man being born. He just stood in place and said these things for another minute. Nothing else happened. Then, I feel like throwing up even remembering this. Bonzi giggled and said Wanna see something cool? Then he began playing Daisy Bell as he opened tabs containing images of gore. Not cartoon gore, not the kind of poor attempt at drawing realistic gore. Real gore. Images of real gore. Sometimes he'd open text files saying, I hate you. Soon enough, I vomited on the floor. There was just too much of this on my screen. I felt like I was going to faint, or at least fall out of my chair. After at least 1 minute and 20 seconds, the browser closed and the music stopped. I could finally get back onto my chair before Bonzi spoke once again. A mailbox appeared, he opened it and took out a letter. Oh look, it's a letter from Adam. Let's take a read. He spoke again. You were always a thorn in my side, you know that? Every single day was torture hearing your voice. And don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what you did. School was hell for me. Not only did you watch those guys beat me to a pulp, but you joined in. You, my old brother, don't act like you're the hero here. Your petty excuse of just wanting to protect me does not work here. Do you really think kicking free of my teeth out is protecting me? Imagine if you were in my shoes. Not being loved at all. Watching as people give all the love to someone that isn't even remotely a good guy. Your existence was a pain for me. I hate you with every atom in my body. After what you did to me, I could never love you again. And honestly, I don't know why anyone would love you in the first place. Bonzi put away the letter and once again bowed as he spoke his final words. I would gladly watch you rot in hell, Jason. Bonzi then giggled as the computer gave me a message box. It was titled, I hate you. The box said, all system files deleted, and the button just read, go to hell. Clicking it shut down my PC. It actually didn't work anymore. All my system files were deleted. 
I was left confused. Was there supposed to be a story behind this? Was it designed with malicious intent, or was it just a messed up prank? Either way, I never touched the forum again, and for years I had never thought about this whole thing, until I went to college, where my roommate was someone named Jason. He mentioned that his brother had gone insane after a bad school day. And then, it all came flooding back. I'm gonna get some fun. I'm gonna get some fun. I'm gonna get some fun.